Hello everyone. Welcome back to our Vedic Math Sutra series. Today we are diving into Vedic Math Sutra 5. This sutra will transform the way you approach complex calculations. Are you ready? Let's get started. But before that, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to never miss an update. Vedic Math Sutra 5 is known as Shunyam Samya Samuchaye, which means if the sum is the same, that sum is zero. It sounds intriguing, right? This sutra is powerful tool for solving equations quickly and effortlessly. Let's break it down and see how it works. Application This sutra is helpful in solving equations. There are different meaning of this sutra. Let us start with the first one. First meaning is a term which occurs as a common factor in all the terms equated to zero. This is an effective approach for solving algebraic equations with equal sums on both sides. Let us take example on it. Example is here 15x plus 4x equals 5x plus 3x. As you can see x is a common factor on both sides. So we can equate x with 0 and this is the solution of this kind of equation. Second example is 9 in bracket x plus 3 equals 4 in bracket x plus 3. Here you can see x plus 3 is a common term on both sides. So we can equate x plus 3 with 0. So we get x is equal to minus 3 and in this way we can solve these equations by using Shunyam Samya Samuchaye Sutra. Let's take second meaning of this sutra. If in a linear equation the independent terms on both sides have the same value, then the value of variable is 0. Let's take example on it. x plus 2 plus 2x plus 5 plus 7 equals 2 in bracket x plus 7. In this equation, let us take first of all independent terms. So 2 plus 5 plus 7 equals 14 on LHS. And similarly on RHS you can see 2 multiplied by 7 equals 14. So on both sides independent terms are same which is 14. So that reason we can equate variable with 0. So the solution of this equation is x equals 0. Third meaning of this sutra is related to the sum of numerators and the sum of denominators of the fraction. There are two cases. Let us start with the case 1. According to the case 1, if the sum of numerators is equal to the sum of denominators, then equate that sum to 0. Let's take example. 2x plus 5 upon 2x plus 11 equals 2x plus 11 upon 2x plus 5. In this equation, we have to take the sum of numerator and sum of denominator. So sum of numerator equals 2x plus 5 plus 2x plus 11, which is 4x plus 16. And sum of the denominator equals 2x plus 11 plus 2x plus 5 equals 4x plus 16. So you can observe that sum of numerator is equal to the sum of denominators. So that we can equate this sum 4x plus 16 with 0. If we have taken 4x plus 16 equals 0 then we will get x is equal to minus 16 upon 4 and x is equal to minus 4. So this is the solution of given equation. Now let's talk about case 2. According to the case 2, if the sum of numerators and sum of denominators are in a ratio, then we can equate sum to 0. Let's take example on it. 3x plus 4 upon 6x plus 5 equals x plus 1 upon 
टू एक्स प्लस फाइव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस टेक सम ऑफ न्यूमरेटर्स एंड डिनोमिनेटर्स सो सम ऑफ न्यूमरेटर इक्वल्स थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर प्लस एक्स प्लस वन विच इज फोर एक्स प्लस फाइव बाय एडिंग लाइक टर्म्स सिमिलरली सम ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर्स इक्वल्स सिक्स एक्स प्लस फाइव प्लस टू एक्स प्लस फाइव विच इज एट एक्स प्लस टेन हियर यू कैन सी टू इज अ कॉमन फैक्टर सो विल गेट टू इन ब्रैकेट फोर एक्स प्लस फाइव इफ यू हैव टेकन रेशियो ऑफ सम ऑफ न्यूमरेटर्स टू द सम ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर्स देन विल गेट दे आर इन अ रेशियो सो द रेशियो इज वन एज टू टू नाउ विल इक्वेट द सम टू जीरो सम इज फोर एक्स प्लस फाइव सो लेट एस इक्वेट इट विथ जीरो फोर एक्स प्लस फाइव इक्वल्स जीरो विच इज फोर एक्स इक्वल्स माइनस फाइव एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव अपॉन फोर एंड दिस इज द सोल्यूशन एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द वेरिएबल एक्स सो इन दिस वे बाय यूजिंग दिस सूत्र वी हैव सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ मीनिंग ऑफ दिस सूत्र here if the difference of numerator and denominators of one fraction is same to the difference of numerator and denominators of second fraction or the difference are in a ratio then we can equate that difference to zero let's understand by taking example example is 3x plus 4 upon 4x plus 7 which equals 5x plus 6 upon 4x plus 3 now let us take difference of numerator and denominator of first fraction on lhs so the difference is 3x plus 4 minus 4x plus 7 let's open the bracket 3x plus 4 minus 4x minus 7 by subtracting like terms we'll get the difference x plus 3 now Let us take difference of numerator and denominator of of the second fraction on RHS. So the difference is five x plus six minus four x plus three. Now here we'll do subtraction of like terms. So we'll get five x plus six by opening bracket. We will get five x plus six minus four x minus three. So the answer is x plus three. so you can see both the differences are same so that we can equate that difference with zero so x plus 3 equals zero that means x is equal to minus 3 and this is the solution of this equation sixth meaning of this sutra if in a equation each side contain two fractions and numerator of each fraction is same and if we have taken sum of denominator in lhs fraction and sum of denominator on rhs fraction then both are same then that time we can equate that sum to zero let us understand by taking example 1 upon x minus 5 plus 1 upon x minus 11 equals 1 upon x minus 6 plus 1 upon x minus 10 so you can see on lhs and rhs we have two fractions now the numerator is same for both side let's take sum of denominator on lhs so sum is x plus 5 plus x minus 11 which is equal to 2x minus 16 now let's take sum of denominator on rhs x minus six plus x minus ten, which equals two x minus sixteen. You can see both sum are same. So that reason will equate two x minus sixteen with zero. So two x minus sixteen equals zero. Then x is equal to sixteen upon eight, and x is equal to two. so this is the value of this variable and solution of this equation thank you for joining us on this deep dive into vedic math sutra 5 we hope 
you found this video both informative and enlightening. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for our next video where we will explore Sutra 6 and uncover even more amazing mathematical shortcuts and techniques. Until then, happy calculating and keep exploring the magic of numbers.